Well, for more on the correlation between height and social status, I'm joined by Richard Steckel, a professor at Ohio State University. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, as we heard, there some studies claim that being taller is actually a good marker of better educational attainment and higher income. Why is that? Well, it's a marker. It's a correlation. And uh, there are a number of theories as to why taller people should earn more. Uh, some say it uh, re reflects personality, deportment, uh, leadership skills, for example. Uh, in presidential elections, it's often been the case the taller candidate has won. So there, there is, uh, I think, a perception uh, that taller people, in some sense, are more qualified. And uh, if you look at the economic data, it is the case uh, that moving from the bottom 25% of the height distribution, this is in Western countries, to the top 25% leads to an increase in earnings of about 10%. So the effect is genuine. It's more controversial as right. to why it's there. Now, now, you mentioned Western culture. Let's also look to the East. What are some of the reasons that we're seeing behind the rise of the average height of Chinese and South Korean people, whereas other countries perhaps tend to plateau when it comes to their heights? Well, there's a well-established relationship uh, between per capita income or per capita gross national product and average height of the country. And so it's uh, what we would call a nonlinear relationship that is an increase in income of, or, or GDP per capita of 5% doesn't increase height by that much. Uh, but it's clear there is an association. Higher income leads to better diets, better medical care, uh, improved uh, public health, personal hygiene, and also less work. We can ask what height actually measures or what it reflects. At the individual level, there's a huge genetic component, of course. Uh, but at the country level, these genetic differences tend to average out. And we're left with uh, a measure of uh, environment that uh, depends upon uh, income, food prices, government policies, and the like. Right, and, and as you mentioned things like food prices, a lot of people might be wondering, what comes first? Is, is being told the reason for the better education or, or the better status, or is it the fact that people, some get an earlier access to things like better nutrition, better health care that allows them to grow and then get that better education later in life? What, what comes first? Well, I think the, uh, it's a two-way relationship that uh, children from well-off families uh, have greater opportunities for education. They uh, most likely have better medical care and better nutrition, which leads to greater height or uh, a greater realization of one's genetic potential. Now, let's also look ahead. With, in terms of the changes that we're seeing in the sort of careers people had, back when people would associate height with having a better job and not just being able to reach for things on tall shelves. But the sorts of jobs that we're looking at now in this post-industrial era, how is that going to affect how all these statistics play out? Well, taller people are more likely to have white collar, higher paying occupations. Uh, and uh, taller people are often viewed uh, as having greater leadership skills. There are even some studies which suggest the um, ingredients of physical growth, that is of height, also affects brain development, personality development, and uh, cognitive skills. Well, definitely. So there may well be a biological basis uh, for that relationship. Well, certainly something I'm sure will be the, the subject of many conversations. Thank you very much for oh, joining yeah. us, Richard Streckel, professor at Ohio State University.